Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you a really nice pre-owned vehicle that we have on the lot. It's a 2011 Chevrolet Traverse. And um, the key says it's a gray, but it kind of looks like a... I don't know. It's kind of green, I guess you can say. A little bit of a green gray. But I'm not sure what the exact color is, but it is a sharp looking color. And um, for the mileage, I mean, the, the age is a 2011, but the mileage is pretty low and it's in good condition. But, you know, just kind of go over it. It does have the aluminum wheels, the fog lights here in the front. There's no fading or any anything on the plastic on the headlights, which is a sign that it might have been garage kept. It's got the privacy glass in the back. The, the luggage rack racks on top and one of the features of this vehicle is that it has remote start so I'm going to go ahead and start it up by locking it and then pushing holding the start button all right and another feature is the, like the power lift gate so I'm going to go ahead and open up the lift gate here using the key you can see it does have a backup camera there's the lens there it does have the backup sensors. You can see the little sensors there. Parking sensors. Now this is a third row vehicle. So you've got the third row there. And these seats do fold down. The second row folds down as well. That way in case you need some more cargo space. But here's the, the normal cargo space area. You got a little power supply there. You got some more storage space under here. You got some tie downs for like a net or something for groceries. And to lower the tailgate, you can use the key uh, right here, or you can push this button. And you just push that, and it comes down. Now I do notice here on the, it looks like the emblem is, is scratched up. Maybe the tailgate, the lift gate, it might have lifted up and maybe hit something on a uh, inside of a garage or something but um, but that's looks like it's just on the emblem and not on any of the metal it's got the nice sticker there Carfax one owner or Carfax and uh, you know it still has the factory powertrain warranty and all that stuff but um, I'm going to unlock it so I can continue has like a tan leather seats here it does have the quad bucket seats here in the back they call it quad seats and you can lower the seat like so and that way you can when you lower those seats you kind of have like a more of a flat surface but in order to, in order to get to the the third row there you can of course if you're small enough you can squeeze here and run back there in the middle if you're a child but if you need to really climb in from this way, this seat kind of sandwiches up like that. And then it gives you a nice walkway into the third row. You've got some rear climate control back here. you got vents in the top, ceiling, and in the floor. you got some lights there. Airbag speakers. you got cup holders, little storage pockets. It's not too bad for the third row passengers. It's going good. Does have the latch system for uh, car seats here as well. Here's your controls for your climate control, and then you do have some headphone jacks there in case you want to listen to music back here without interrupting the driver and passenger talking or whatever. Here's the inside of the door. You got a cup holder storage space down there, speaker. There's the side mirrors. It does have a little uh, blind spot mirror there. Here's the inside of the door, the driver's door. You got your power door lock controls there, power windows, side mirror controls, and some storage pocket there. This has a premium Bose sound system which is an upgrade 
automatic headlights it does have the power seat with lumbar support so I'm going to go ahead and hop in very comfortable vehicle seats comfortable it's a little bit too forward for me and a little bit up I can go up and down it's kind of like a dental chair you can go up down forward backwards all that now I did use the remote start so I still have to take the key and put it in and turn the vehicle on to the on position and that way the radio everything comes to life there's your gauges this has like a green accent gauges 21,591 not too bad on the mileage on a 2011 77 degrees outside a little E right below the temperature is the direction the vehicle is facing it's a digital uh, compass there's your gauges there looks like it needs some gas there's the steering wheel you've got your volume controls here and um, you, know, you can change through your radio stations and stuff now it does have a Bluetooth system and you can make and receive phone calls through that system if you have it set up. So you can, or you can also mute the phone and use your cell phone. Cruise control is on this side, it does have a leather wrapped steering wheel, um, real tight leather wrapped, kind of a firm steering wheel. Over here you've got a, let me make sure the fan's not interfering with the camera. But right here is a storage pocket and it does has a, does have a USB charger in there as well. So I guess you can put a phone in there or something and, and, and charge it using that, that USB plug. There's your radio. It does have a CD player. It does have satellite radio as well. And there's your, you know, your controls for that. Down here you got your climate control. It is a dual zone as well as a rear climate control. You can set the temperature to exact numbers and here's a forgot to mention auxiliary input which is real important for uh, playing music and stuff off of a phone or something like that it does have the heated seats here on the front driver and passenger your traction controls there you can control your lift gate there's your rear wiper control and all that good stuff there's your shifter now when I put it in reverse you can see the backup camera pops up here I don't know if you can tell in the video but it's kind of right in this area here a nice wide angle view of the rear of the vehicle you can see right here is a shadow and then there's the car lot let's see here I don't know if that's gonna actually work but it looks really pretty clear in, in person this camera is not really picking it up all good but anyway so when you put it in, in reverse also you hear I don't know if you heard that beep that's telling you that the parking sensors in the vehicle is also turned on as well so it kind of helps you out with backing up especially if you have a uh, basically a bunch of people in the back and there's your, your views limited that kind of really helps out all right so your shifter um, you know as well as a backup camera you can as you're driving it does have a four-wheel drive low but you can also um, right here on the side it has a plus and minus you can changed through the gears you can downshift or upshift if needed there's a power supply there a little pocket cup holders storage space here now this lifts up let me get it over here well for one thing this lifts up here for storage little storage pocket but also this slides back and then you got this big storage pocket and then this closes up too so you don't accidentally drop stuff in there so you can slide it like that you can lift it up like so and slide it back you got a big old junk drawer I guess you could say there all right here's your really big glove compartment and it kind of eases itself down it is hard plastic on the inside it's not padded it's not felt lined like this Part right here this has a little bit of a felt in the bottom on star controls are up here you do have an auto dim rear view mirror as well 
right here is your garage door controls if you once you set those up this little thing if I'm not mistaken if it's like the other vehicles is an infrared sensor for your uh, climate control so basically it can tell the exact temperature in the vehicle here's your some lights in case you need those you also have your mirror with the lights here same thing on the passenger side See what it looks like back there. No odors in this vehicle. You can tell it hasn't been smoked in or anything like that. It is a, um, you know, you, you know, you can tell it's been taken care of. Let's go ahead and look under the hood. Kind of hard to do this one-handed, but there we go. All right, 3.6 liter uh, V6. It is a VVT engine. Got my Chevrolet there, and this is a front-wheel drive vehicle. So you can see the placement of the engine, and it looks like a brand spanking new vehicle under the hood. But there you have it. If you have any questions, you can uh, leave them in the comment section or send me an email. See you next time.